Spooktober is the perfect time for us to showcase six of the best horror games to play this year. To see what new horror games have been released this year and in the future, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified of our new videos. Starting off with number 6 we have The Medium. This game is inspired by Konami's Silent Hill series. Game's music is also composed by Akira Yamaka, a Silent Hill veteran. This psychological horror distorts the player's sense of reality by placing them in the middle of two different worlds. Survive the terrible nightmare realm as a medium and utilize this other world to solve a variety of riddles that influence reality. Moving on to number 5 we have Chernobylite. As a game that takes place in and around the radioactive exclusion zone, Chernobylite may appear to be similar to stalker games at first look, but what sets it apart is its roguelite flavor and non-linear plot progression. It's a first-person shooter that follows a group of people as they explore an infested hellhole. Every decision you make opens up new options for your trip across this radioactive wasteland. The plot may be unclear at times, but it is more than compensated by the gameplay and amazing graphics. Moving along to number 4 with Tormented Souls. This game is a hybrid of Silent Hill and Resident Evil. The fixed camera angles make us feel like we're back into the good old days of gaming. The stunning graphics and responsive gameplay are the only indications that we're playing a 2021 game. Tormented Souls provides a lot of surprises for seasoned survival horror fans, despite the fact that this enigmatic mansion contains a lot of references to the classics. Down to number 3 we find Days Gone. This open-world survival horror from Ben Studios was the initial PlayStation 4 exclusive which earned a lot of praise. When the game was expected to remain exclusive and stay on the console. However, PlayStation exclusives have made their way to the PC. Days Gone was one of the first games to be released, and it looks much better on PC. This post-apocalyptic world is ideal for exploring as a third-person adventure, and it is filled with dangerous zombies who roam in groups. We're lucky that we have our motorcycle to keep us company. On to number 2 we have Little Nightmares 2. This is one of the year's best horror games. The sequel no longer follows the first game's Yellow Raincoat Girl. Instead, we play Mono, a character from the original game. Assist him in navigating this bizarre, strange, and horrific environment and avoiding the numerous monsters that follow him. The game is available on almost every major platform, including the Nintendo Switch. Finally, at number 1 we have Resident Evil Village. This horror game guarantees to frighten the living daylights out of you. With its werewolves and gigantic lady vampires, Village swept the globe by storm. As Ethan Winters returns to his first-person adventures and to save his wife, he travels from 0 to 100 in a matter of hours in this crazy nightmare, equipped only with a few rounds of ammunition and a knife. A DLC is in the works, promising more content that will set up the series' future and address the game's unresolved riddles. That's it for this video, let us know what you're currently gaming right now in the comments, and don't forget to check out the new videos. If you don't want to miss out on future recommendations on games and new updates on gaming, be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our future video.